Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entrepreneurial Finance, Sources of Financing. You have an idea? You want to start your business? Where do you get the money from? Actually, what are sources of capital you might use? Well, actually, what you can do, first of all, start with your own savings. Maybe you're a student at the university, you do not have savings. So you go ask your grandma for... 1,500 US dollars or euros or whatever and you start your business and the business goes well so it's good to have a thousand dollars more and maybe 1,500 dollars more maybe your grandma has some money and she's easy in giving that to you but there'll be the day <coughs> that your grandma says no no not one more time and maybe she's going after you to get at least some money back that's when you have to start thinking about obtaining other sources of financing first of all it is very necessary to do that because if we look at that uh, chart and this is I think 157 companies on average they produced losses for the first 30 months and before they got profitable on a month-to-month -month basis and they earned their initial equity back after 75 months so these companies high-tech companies so to say they needed a lot of money in order to build the company and in order to earn the money back from their for their investors 30 months to make money and 75 months to earn the money back for an initial equity break even and the main question, does this hold true for every company? Well, let's look at an example. The foundation of SAP. SAP people, the founders of SAP, were actually selling computers for IBM before. And what they um, saw is that the customers asked them for software, customized software for their computers. So what did they do? They went back to the SAP, uh, the, the IBM board, and, and proposed that business idea to IBM, and IBM said no. So they said, we're going to build our own company. We have the vision of standard application software for real-time data proce processing. But when they started, and it was in 1972, there was no venture capital angel investor. Well, there were some angel investors, but... It was not really an equity capital market for early stage financing out there. However, the company was initially successful. How did they do this? Making 620 Deutsche Marks in revenue in the first year, basically. Well, actually, what they did is they first of all financed through their own assets. So they took their own money and then they thought about the business model, which gave them the opportunity to make money from the first day on. They didn't develop software for the next years and sell the software. What they did is they took themselves as software consultants, sold themselves as software consultants to those companies who wanted to have the software and started as a consulting business, first of all. And this is how they were able also to use the computers, the IBM computers, of the potential customers, of the customers. They didn't need to buy own computers. They didn't need to spend on technical equipment. And this is how they could get profitable in the first year. Why am I telling that story? Because it is a software idea and you can execute your software idea always in different ways. You do it like SAP, you start developing custom software with your customers, or you do it like other companies who take a venture capital, develop software, and then sell the car software after 30 months, for example, and then go into this monthly break-even phase. So you see, before even you think about obtaining financing, it's good to think about your corporate strategy how do you want to develop your company and how much money do you need then? And then you can look at the basic sources of financing. Because 
In the SAP example, again, you might do it by only internal financing, self-financing from net income, from the first 620,000 Deutsche Marks revenues. That's the best way, the easiest way to make money and use that money for further investments. In those cases I described before, those 157 companies in the graph, um, that wasn't possible because they weren't making money at the very beginning. They couldn't do self-financing because they didn't have net income. So they have to look for other sources, which is mainly equity financing or debt financing. Equity financing where someone gets shares from a company but um, has no repayment obligation to the company. And on the other hand, debt financing where the company has a repayment obligation for a fixed interest rate. Is this really an option for young entrepreneurial companies? Well, actually, debt financing with fixed interest rate is very, very difficult for banks, especially for companies with high uncertainty and a high chance of failure. Because if you, as a bank, give someone a credit and he fails, you have to make money with all the other credits, with the, all the other debt financing in order to make up for the losses. If you look at equity financing, you have shares in the company and those shares, they triple, they double, they are factor 100, what you, for example, can see with Facebook, then you can make a lot more money and you can also cover losses from other investments. This is the basic idea of getting into the sources of financing. And now we have to look closer at these possibilities.